A Living Man Declared Dead and Other Chapters consists of 18 chapters in which you see the external forces of governance, religion, territory, power, and luck butting up against the internal forces of psychological and physical inheritance. In these works, I was interested in ideas surrounding fate and its relationship to chance, blood, and circumstance. The works are designed to imply patterns and codes and systems, and to imagine the collision of order and disorder. The narratives which are the subjects of each work stand in as these archetypal episodes representing something that came before, that's happening now, and will happen again. A pattern of absence and presence is represented through the empty portraits that repeat throughout the works. The 18 chapters collectively form an archive. In the pile of information in an archive, something is established in all of the gaps between the collected information. It's more about the disorder and chaos and murky space in which something is difficult to articulate. Photography is used in this machine-like form, implying this idea of relentless production. The numbing persistence of birth and death and the accumulation of all the stories between. Are all of these stories and lives just piling up or is something unfolding? There is no conclusion or overarching declaration. It's about the difficulty in understanding what we're all doing here and what it all amounts to.